Hey guys, it's Justin from Justin Day TV Journal. Just wanted to say hello, 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 but I have some really bad news. Well, I mean, it's not great, it's not good at all. So the CDC came out with their um, surveillance, HIV surveillance report, which usually comes around every three years. Every three years they come out with a surveillance report ranking states and cities and different metropolitan areas. So um, this a startling fact was found out about the city of Philadelphia. Philadelphia, which is um, maybe two uh, hours north of where I am. Um, <clears throat> they say the majority of Philadelphians that get tested for HIV, that, are te that test positive, already have full-blown AIDS. Now, full-blown AIDS is when your CD4 count is below 200 and your immune system is, is very, very weak. I mean, it's, it's awful that this has been found out. Um, now, the latest report, I believe, was in 2011. So we're still, you know, there's still three years after that that they're actually gathering information and figuring out, what, you know, how the numbers are. So they say around 12,000 of Philadelphians um, have the virus or, um, or AIDS. And um, it's, I think they said 75% of the cases. And I was just startled by that. I just could not believe that. I don't know what to say about that, but I know Kevin Burns, I believe he's the executive director of AIDS Action, um, he told CBS that, you know, usually, you know, when they, when they get tested, and I'm not quoting him, but I'm, I'm just, you know, summarizing what he said, and please forgive me if I, sir, if I messed it up, but he said, you know, in stage three, the, you know, those are the majority of people that are being diagnosed, and HIV is stage three, and you know AIDS. It's it's pretty serious. It's really really serious. So what is going on? What is going on? Are people becoming um, complacent? Are they are they saying okay? Well, since HIV is not a serious disease anymore, like it was back in the eighties and nineties, since people are living longer and living healthier lives, I guess we don't have to worry about that. Or are they just not using condoms and not getting tested? I mean, that seems like the case because I think I think that. If people got tested, um, you know, every three months, if everybody got tested every three months, which would be a great thing, then everybody would know their HIV status. But you can't make make people get tested. But, um, you know, it, it's a good thing if everybody got tested, whether they're heterosexual, homosexual, black, white, Hispanic, Asian, it doesn't matter. So what do you think is going on? What, what is going on in Philadelphia? I want to hear from you. I want to know what's going on because it just seems like this is just so startling. I just cannot believe it. I mean, of course, you know, I live in the D.C. area, which our numbers of HIV are catastrophic, um, based, you, know, you know, competing against sub-Saharan um, sub Africa. So, you know, it's just as bad or as worse. But, you know, it's just I don't know what's going on. People are maybe not deciding that. Um, HIV isn't that serious and I'm here to say that it is serious. It is a serious disease. It is so serious because it seems to me that, you know, people wake up and they said, okay, I'm just gonna do what I do everyday life, not worry about HIV. And then when they get tested, it's too late because they already have full-blown AIDS and that, you know, that's horrible because, you know, their, their immune system is, you know, very weak and it, it you know, it, they could they become susceptible to all kinds of, um, you know, opportunistic infections. So you know, it's it's really sad sometimes. So what I'm telling you guys now is get serious. You know, be proactive. Get tested. You know, and I wonder what my friend Robert Brining has to say from Pause I Am Radio. And I know that he's probably already seen this before. Um, but when the CDC statistic, statistic came out. So I know he's probably he's already seen it before, but I really want to know what he has to say about it. But I'll leave that to him. Anyway, um, I just came to report that, and I hope you guys are having a good day. And strap it up, please. And it doesn't matter what you do sexually, just make sure that you protect yourselves.